there are two distinct churches of Scientology. The church of Scientology that it wants you to see, and then the church of Scientology it doesn't want you to see. In fact, the church is so secretive and paranoid of what goes on that the world should know about that when you walk into a Church of Scientology building, you now sign a contract that you will never disclose anything you experienced or witnessed in that building. I mean, we're, not, we're not talking about confidential upper OT. We're just talking about you went and you saw somebody scream and yell and use abusive language and slap and it has to be covered up it has to be buried slowly these stories are trickling out as more and more people come out one thing that is consistently occurring on the internet is people revealing how the church maliciously use their confidential data given in the context of a session. This is it's really, I mean, it's appalling. That you trusted you were giving off something. I, I recently posted, a, but I'm going to say it again because it's a global audience now. A good friend of mine, whose first name is Alex. He just worked his tail off for the church in the sea organization. He was what they call an evaluator. That's an analyst. In CIA, there's two, you're either an operative or you're an analyst. He was an analyst. He wasn't in church operation so much. He just analyzed and evaluated. Anyway, when things got more and more crazy in the early 80s, he left. I think he fled. I think what they call blow. But earlier on in his auditing, he confessed that when he was 16 years old, he and a group of boys did a joyride in a car that they took off in. And he did some overnight in a detention center or whatever. When he fled, the church, in its hyperventilating, vengeful mode, reported him to law enforcement as wanted, a wanted fugitive for, <laughs> for grand, grand auto theft. The guy is like 45 years old when he was 16. He did a joyride in a car and <laughs> The Church of Scientology is reporting him for grand theft auto and they go to the INS and say, he, he, uh, Alex was Hispanic, Latino, that he's an illegal alien. So anyway, he gets hauled in by the INS and the INS actually tell him, it's the Church of Scientology that reported on you. Now, I, I tell this story because it just boggles the mind. He said something when he was 16 years old. And the church translate this into, like, he's running around grand, grand theft auto for a joyride. And of course he wasn't an illegal alien, but, but anyway. The common denominator of these horror stories is how the church lashes out with a venom against people who leave. Now, I don't want this to be a kind of terror of people coming forward because it has considerably lessened, considerably lessened. I mean, look at me, I put out a video every couple of days and they're doing absolutely nothing to me right now.
So I don't want to make this video seem that you need to be fearful. This is the Church of Scientology that they don't want you to know. That they will reveal confidential secrets and that they will run a campaign via Office of Special Affairs to intimidate you The Church of Scientology Office of Special Affairs engages in malicious fair game campaigns, even when denying that fair game doesn't exist. That's not true. These malicious programs are designed to shudder people into silence, particularly former members. To your point, there are two churches of Scientology. The Church of Scientology you see, and the Church of Scientology you don't see. Mm -hmm. What the Church of Scientology doesn't want you to see is fair game disconnection, it's other abuses, it's malicious programs, the, thing it, the things that it does to its own members and to its enemies, particularly former members. The Church of Scientology you don't see is largely a creation of non-Scientology lawyers pushing the law to the absolute boundaries. Mm -hmm. In some cases, private investigators going beyond the law are going as far up against the edge of illegality as they think they can do. Mm -hmm. So you have to stop and ask, in terms of spiritual enlightenment, why are you going right up against the edge of criminality? Mm -hmm. This is why BBC, HBO, mm -hmm. Nightline, Dateline, just go on down the line of TV shows have covered the Church of Scientology. Its criminal behavior doesn't comport with its claims of enlightenment. Mm -hmm. Curiously, celebrities are in the middle of this. Mm -hmm. so, it draws attention to itself because it seems to offer something, particularly to celebrities and even wealthy individuals, while on the other hand engaging in malicious programs. So when people are lured in, they are never, ever told about the darker side of Scientology. <laughs> I had a couple of um, Hollywood young people in the in the entertainment industry tell me, this is the pitch. Do you want to be like Tom Cruise? Do you want to be able to talk like Tom Cruise? Do you want to have his attitude? Do you want to have his success? Just, this is what we offer you. Look at Tom. We'll make you a Tom Cruise. Now go see the registrar and sign up. We'll make you a total movie star. That's the Church of Scientology that they pitch and sell to newbies in the entertainment industry. Mm -hmm.